In this video, we're going to cover how you can add and subtract numbers that are in standard form without using a calculator. To very quickly recap, standard form numbers look like this, with the 4.5 being called the front number, which has to be between 1 and 10, and the 3 being the power. So this number means 4.5 times 10 three times. So it has an actual value of 4,500. Now, whenever you want to add or subtract numbers in standard form, there are two really important points to remember. One is that the two numbers both have to have the same power before you can add or subtract them. And the other point is that you only add or subtract the front numbers while the times 10 to the power bit stays the same. So in this question, where both of the powers are already the same, because they're both 4, all we need to do is add together the front numbers. So 3.2 plus 2.6, which is 5.8. And then we tag on the times 10 to the power of 4 bit to the end, because that always stays the same. So really, whenever you do a question like this, you can really think of there as being three steps. In the first, we make sure the powers of both of our numbers are the same, which will sometimes involve changing the numbers around a bit, like we'll see in a minute. Then once we've done that, we can add or subtract the front numbers together and keep the times 10 to the power bit the same. And the last thing we do is a double check that our answer is in standard form because with these questions, you normally have to leave your answer in standard form. So if we take a look at this question here, where we're trying to do 5.6 times 10 to the power of 6 minus 4.2 times 10 to the power of 5, we just need to work our way through these three steps. So to start with, we need to make sure that our powers are the same for both, which this time they're not because 5.6 times 10 to the 6 has a power of 6, but 4.2 times 10 to the 5 only has a power of 5. To fix this, we need to change one of our numbers a bit. It's up to you whether you change them both to have a power of 5 or both to have a power of 6, but in general it's easier to go for the bigger power. So let's try and make them both times 10 to the 6. 5.6 times 10 to the 6 is of course already to the power of 6. So there's no need to change that one at all, and we can just rewrite it below. To make 4.2 times 10 to the 5 to the power of 6 though, the times 10 part will effectively have gotten 10 times bigger. And so to balance that out and keep the whole number the same, we need to make the front number 10 times smaller, so that it becomes 0.42. Now that we've made the powers both the same, we can move on to step 2 and subtract our two front numbers. So 5.6 minus 0.42, which is 5.18. And remember, we keep the rest the same, so we can tag on the times 10 to the power of 6. Then the last step is to check that our answer is in standard form, which this one is. So that's our final answer, and we don't have to do anything else. Next, let's try this one, where we have 7.4 times 10 to the 8, plus 9.5 times 10 to the 9. The first thing to notice is that these two numbers have different powers, so we can start by making both of the powers the same. And as we said, it's normally easier to pick the bigger one, so 9. This means that 9.5 times 10 to the 9 will stay exactly the same, but 7.4 times 10 to the 8 will have to become 0.74 times 10 to the 9, because our front number needs to get 10 times smaller to balance out the bigger power. Next, we can add together our front numbers. So 0.74 plus 9.5, which gives us 10.24 as our new front number. And we can tag on the times 10 to the power of 9. As our third step, we need to make sure our answer is in standard form. And in this case, it actually isn't. 
because this front number is bigger than 10. To fix this, we need to change it to 1.024 by making it 10 times smaller. But to balance that change out, we need to make this bit of our standard form 10 times bigger, which we do by increasing the power from 9 to 10. So 1.024 times 10 to the power of 10 is our final answer. For one last example, let's do 6.3 times 10 to the power of negative 4, minus 3.5 times 10 to the power of negative 5. Because the powers are both negative here, minus 4 is actually the bigger power. This means that our 6.3 times 10 to the power of negative 4 will stay the same, but you need to change 3.5 times 10 to the minus 5 to 0 0.35 times 10 to the minus 4. Next, you can subtract the front numbers. So 6.3 minus 0 0.35, which gives us 5.95. And then we can tag on the times 10 to the minus 4. And last, you just need to check that 5.95 times 10 to the minus 4 is in standard form, which it is. So that's your final answer. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So, hope you found it useful. If you did, then please do give us a like and subscribe. And hopefully we'll see you again soon.